This Annual Quality Stocks takes Thursday, January 6, 2011. Today, we're going to take a look at Elephant Talk Communications. This is a NASDAQ bullet board company trading on our ticker ETAK. See just a large run here from $1.50 up to $3.60 over the course of September through November, adding two bucks a share, a pullback, holding this 200 day now, and looks like it's trying to iron out a new bottom. So let's take a quick look at the indicators and see what they're telling us. Getting a bullish cross to the MACD, histogram popped back through zero, histogram bars are increasing, signal line starting to flatten back out. Nice look for a possible reversal with the MACD. PPO similar in configuration. Nice reversal setup with the ADX. Pay attention for that ADX to flatten out now and start to curl down as the positive negative DIs look to reverse positions. Very nice look to the MFIs, heading up strong through 50, even the 21 is about to break through that. Bullish look to the MFI. Of course, with the sell-off, the accumulation distribution dip. Held a base, though, right through there. Now it's curling back up strong. Nice look to the accumulation distribution. Taking money flow, looks like it's just now starting to make its turn. Made a little bit lower of a low. We're going to have to look for continuation in that at this point. CCI holding a nice uptrend. Bounce right off negative 100. Of course, we're going to look for that break of zero, but that uptrend is solid. And the not dipping back down into oversold is also solid. Full still also with a little bit of an uptrend, heading towards 50. Again, bullish look. And the tricks, which lags a little bit. Looks like we're going to get a bullish cross. This is in a pretty strong downtrend right through there. We're going to look for that downtrend to be broken and for this trick to try and reverse course and start trending back towards zero. But the bullish cross is the first thing that you look for. RSIs, you can see these longer terms, 14 and 21, red and gold, starting to put uptrends, breaking out of their downtrends, all close together. I like to see that and heading towards 50. I see that seven, of course, is going to punch through first. If it makes any kind of a move, you want to see us 14 and 21 climb their way over 50 as well. It's very bullish if they do. What I like about this is holding this 50 day. It does get support right there around two dollars and it does and it actually draws some support right there around 210 211 too where it's bounced off several times but holding over this 200 day is an important thing to keep this chart somewhat bullish and i like the fact that you can see how this drop off was just relatively quick couldn't really gain any strength even in through here when it tried to recuperate a little bit now it looks like it's holding a pretty solid base trying to round this thing out a little bit so it has a very nice look resistance going to come in right there at 237 look for that to be a pretty tough spot for it closed to 232, so that's pretty close proximity. But if it can blow through that, it won't meet more resistance till up here around 260. So there we're talking a little over 10% gains, pretty nice move. And again, more resistance won't come in until up here around this 50-day moving average, around 280, where it meets some price per share resistance as well. And there we're talking pretty significant gains and the chance of the chart trying to turn back bullish if it can climb over that 50-day. Of course, that's a little bit of ways away. Right now we're looking for some support levels to hold, hold this 200-day, try and iron this out as a bottom, start popping through some resistance and establish some uptrend to go along with these indicators that are trying to turn bullish. So I think that the ETAK chart is a chart to keep on radar. Look for volume to try and pick up just a little bit. You can see it did uptick some, 173,000 shares traded. This appears to trade relatively thin all the time. So we'll just look for volume to try and stay consistent, maybe just a hair more. But right now we just want to keep our eye out for some buying pressure, push through this middle Bollinger Band, this purple line, which is at 236, and show that this is indeed a true bottom, and it's going to try and put together another climb. As always, this video is merely my interpretation of the ETAK chart. This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thank you for watching and trade smart.